Ever wondered if you could learn VFX and Roblox in just 24 hours? Well, I'm about to find out. The rules are up on screen right now. The time is 9.57 and the challenge starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so I have three goals. I want to create a spinjitsu, like a tornado. I want to create a force field. And I want to create Gojo's Labs Blue Max. That is number one accomplished. Here we have the tornado, and we also have it over here. Luckily here, I did realize that I should probably should record. So here I did record the making of the force field. So the way I did this was first I just got a particle emitter, then I got a decal from this huge kit that I just found in the toolbox. Then I just get the ID or URL inside it, and then I just copy that and paste it onto the particle emitter. Okay, so the way I started out was I had to make a circle that surrounds the player. Which was kind of difficult when you only have straight lines, because I just used the size. But, in the end, I ended up making something that looked not half bad. But it was still a bit big. So now I had to remake the circle, which is already super difficult, but at the right size around the player. And if you're wondering how to make a circle, well, you basically have to make a curve with the straight lines in the size uh, thing. As you see here, I kind of try to curve it, and then at the end, it gets like goes like way further down, so it becomes a smooth circle and not like a pot or something. Okay, so now I've made two things that work around the player, but now I want to try and make Gojo's Labs Blue for one of my upcoming videos. So I spent like half an hour trying to make something, like making a circle again, but I didn't want to do that again. So I started over after pulling a bit of inspiration from the toolbox. This is gonna end up looking a bit weirder because it doesn't really look like a circle because, well, it's flat, but it always faces your camera. Now right here, I start scaling it up, and now you can really see it starts looking like something. Hey, if you watched this far, you're probably enjoying the video. And if you are, you should probably subscribe. I mean, the button literally glowed when I said it. Okay, so I think I've probably learned how to make the effects pretty good, but now I need to learn how to script them. So, let's do that. All I really wanted to do was just make it a working projectile, which surprisingly took a lot longer than you'd think. So what I did was just making it summon, and then to make it shoot, I basically just got the thing the mouse was hovering over so let's say it was hovering over a human or a player then it would go to that player and then I just set up a bunch of if statements so it would only go to the player then I locked the player in place while they were shooting so I could play this sick animation and just a pro tip if you want to lock the player in place while they but still animate them then you can just anchor the human root part 
And now look at this, full animation and firing and everything. For some reason it doesn't work on rigs, but I did test it on my alt account and it did work there. I have since gotten it to work, so if you're lonely, you can still try it. And with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see ya.